Hi everybody, today we're going to have a look at the toilet in the Grand California. Uh, don't panic, it's not been used, but we're going to give you a detailed description uh, of how it works, uh, how the cassette works, what you would do with that, and um, let's get to it. Um, so here's the toilet, uh, obviously you've got a seat, uh, you've got the, the seat you actually sit on, uh, the toilet itself which is in here, uh, there is a, uh, a button on the side here, so this is for your water to flush away with, so you press and hold that for a second or two, the water will, will go into the pan, uh, which is in there as well, and you've got a button at the bottom here, which activates the, uh, the flap at the bottom, which obviously then would allow what you've done to, uh, uh, to escape into the uh, bottom tank, into the holding tank. Uh, the actual toilet seat itself uh, will move around so you can get it in the position that uh, that you want it to be to give you leg room etc that's there. At the back of the toilet here uh, there's a uh, you can see green that's through the the white thing and that's indicating that the tank below is empty. Uh, there's a float in the tank which I'll show you in a minute uh, and when that, obviously that gets full that will turn to red uh, so that you know that then you need to empty the bottom tank. To clarify obviously you get yourself ready, uh, open the the slider, uh, do what you need to do press the button and flush uh, and then obviously make sure you always close that slider again uh, if you don't obviously you'll be getting uh, the smells and things like that obviously they'll come into the uh, uh, into the main part of the uh, main part of the vehicle you don't reclose really it again afterwards and a final thing as well is is a toilet roll holder which I'll show you in a second uh, is actually in the cupboard below so the time has come to dispose of your your waste within the container uh, so just give this a push uh, and this opens out. Uh, now we've said in a couple of videos before, this is part of the central locking system, so if the vehicle um, is locked, uh, you won't be able to open this, you have to unlock the vehicle first, and then you just pull this uh, and this comes out. Uh, on a note on that as well is, if for any reason this didn't open, there is a release for this, uh, just inside next to your seat bench. There's a red cable, you have to hunt around for it. But by pulling that, what it would allow this to do is to actually be opened with the central locking, uh, not locked. It's like an extra way just to make sure you can definitely always get into it. Um, so inside here is your uh, cassette. Uh, now this is going to look slightly different depending on what system you have. So this is for the standard toilet cassette system. Uh, if you've got the, the SOG, the toilet ventilation, uh, then you're going to have a pipe coming out of here. Uh, which obviously needs to be disconnected uh, and putting a, a cap on the end of the pipe uh, before you actually uh, come and move it up but that's the only differences between them uh, so with this one here just pull the catch there and pull it out obviously there'll be quite a bit of weight to this uh, as you pull it out uh, from the vehicle because obviously it'll probably be full uh, at this point so you've got a grab handle here uh, you've got a grab handle on top and you notice where my hand is underneath you've also got a handle there uh, so you've got plenty of places that you can get hold of it. Uh, obviously I've put it straight onto the floor um, and then at the back you can pull the handle up put that in uh, so it's on wheels at the back as you can see and then obviously you can then take it off and easily move it to wherever you need to be on your campsite or wherever you may be to actually dispose of it so um, obviously a campsite wise there'd be disposal points where you can actually take it so when you get to the disposal point obviously you want to put the handle back pull this up from here um, now uh, obviously here you just can undo this and then obviously then you can pull that into here now the button on the back this one here uh, is a pressure release, uh, it's the manual pressure release. Uh, there is an automatic pressure release as well, so if the pressure gets too much inside, this will actually automatically release pressure from in here. But it's nicely put there, so as you're pouring it in, you can keep your finger on that as well and press it. So obviously as the liquid leaving from in here, there's a bit of air in the back as well, so it should nicely flow out uh, straight out of the tank for you as well, so you shouldn't get any bubbling at the top, for example. So press the button. Uh, out it comes into the uh, uh, into the wherever you're wasting it to. Get the cap back, uh, put some water in, there's usually a hose pipe thing that's in there as well. Put a bit of water back in it, put your cap back on, give it a good shake, move it over, make a lot of clean water what's around, and then do exactly the same again, take your cap off, you empty that out once more, and then pop your cap back on. So at this point now, uh, obviously it's emptied. Uh, there are a couple more things that they uh, suggest. I'm just gonna get the floor a bit easier to show you on here. So uh, this one here is where your float is. That tells you obviously, so you know uh, how much you've actually got in there. And you just twist it to the side and pull it out. Uh, now in the instructions, it does say to give that, uh, run that over under cold water, give it a, a wipe off. Um, and 
I'm thinking you, you might want to do that every so often when you do it but obviously you're giving it a good shake with the water that's in there as well uh, so really that's probably quite clean as it is anyway but uh, uh, that's access to that that's there as I said that's your release for your pressure uh, and again this is your automatic release so if the pressure gets too much it will automatically release rather than uh, getting built up that's in there as well uh, and then this top section here is obviously where this is what's connected to your toilets uh, obviously we've already looked at in the vehicle uh, so when you uh, do the catch on the toilet upstairs uh, what that's doing is opening up from in here which actually what it does by that is actually moving this so uh, it turns that button there which then obviously then allows the flap you can see that from the ground then that's moving the flap uh, within the now at this point now for example if you were here now you could obviously you're going to need to put uh, additive back into the into it to fill it back up again that's the additive that comes with the vehicle there's lots of people that do these but it's the blue stuff that needs to go uh, in here on the back it tells you how much you need to put in uh, and how much water you need to put in uh, into there as well so it's quite uh, easy to do um, from when I've used that in the past it's quite a bright blue stuff here you don't, certainly don't want to get on your clothes or anything like that when you uh, when you're doing it so probably worth having a, a pair of disposable gloves or something when you do it uh, and pop that in there with the water as well uh, which you can just put into the top uh, and then obviously seal it back up again uh, <coughs> close that lid uh, pop that across there so it's in there and then that just goes back in you've heard it click and shut it so there is actually some space in the bottom of here you see there's a little tray at the bottom uh, and that's so you can put things like for example that in so you can keep things like for example wipes we have disposable gloves things like that you can keep them underneath there as well so they're all in the same place uh, so then obviously when you do pull it out you've got those things straight to hand uh, so I'm not quite sure whether you've enjoyed today's video or not. It's not the uh, best of subjects to talk about. I hope that all makes sense to you. If you've got any questions or queries, as always, pop them in the comment box below. Uh, we'll be doing a Q&A very shortly, uh, and we're always doing Q&As after that as well. So uh, just pop them in there, and we'll answer your questions as soon as we can. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.